You showed me to do something Protecting me again So I don't take the pain Nityananda, you're the living flame Nityanand, Nityanand, Nityananda Let go Nityanand guys, welcome you guys back with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam um, today's video, Powerful Cognition, I wanted to share is um, again in the song I latest I released uh, recently. Have a look, it is there on the channel, it will be there in the description below. Um, I talk about at one part in the second part of the chorus and in the second verse, I talk about how Guru is the embodiment of will persistence in your life, he is the embodiment of compassion, embodiment of love embodiment of radiating powerful cognitions, embodiment of living life, positive cognitions. He's the embodiment of everything that is auspicious, all the auspicious qualities which arise from the space of pure consciousness. And it is extremely important to see physically somebody living that these truths, these uh, cognitions, it's very important to see it through and experience it through your five senses. When you experience it, you gain the depth of the courage that you gained um, because I guess it goes so deeply within you because it goes to the gross level of, you know, up to the five senses, which is pretty much the grossest way of experiencing life. The more, the, the most rough way of experiencing life is through the senses. And, um, and, but when you, when you see the master operating, when you, you see that, it becomes a model which is possible, right? Because many times these truths, they talk about very high principles, but you need to see it in action to actually kind of believe it, or at least the depth of your belief will be so much more deeper when you see it live happening in flesh and bones. And that is why um, having the Guru and cherishing the Guru-Disciple relationship is very important because you need to be constantly remembered that it's possible, you can do it. And if, it, if that possibility is radiating through the, master, the Master's body or the Guru's form, then that possibility can also be awakened in this form. And like that, you know, you don't give up, you stop giving up on yourself and you have this will persistence to keep going and to make it happen. So it's very, very important because sometimes we will face ups and downs and some of these ups and downs, they're very up or very down. And, but in these moments, somehow you have to remember that this possibility is there and you should not make a decision which goes against that possibility as you are in an up or in a down. So yes, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, importance of the master's form and how he basically gives, he gives me and he gives, I guess, people, I would speak on the behalf of the people here. Uh, he gives, he gave me the more confidence towards this. Hey guys, sorry for this technical glitch. Phone ran out of space, the video got cut. I just wanted to finish um, saying that, yes, the Swamiji gave me the confidence to let go, to let go of the attachments that I used to hold on to in order to remain stable and that I can experience um, my true nature, the pure consciousness. Even recently in the satsang, Swamji talks about just the simple remembrance that your consciousness should be the source of your joy and your bliss. And I personally related to that because the name he gave me is Ashutosha, means easily pleased. So easily pleased, I could relate saying, oh, the simple remembrance that I am pure consciousness is enough to please me. So in that way, that kind of level of simplicity, my bliss should be established on that because consciousness is eternal. And if, I, if my bliss is associated to the fact that I am consciousness, then I will be in eternal bliss, Nityananda. So with this, yes, that's what I wanted to share with you guys uh, today. So I'll see you guys in another episode. And uh, yes, Nityananda. I welcome you all with my love and respects.
let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda.